just went point blank there. I had to fix my camera up and everything. What is up, guys? The year 322 with you to Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and back to my road to Sonic Mania. Okay. That was weird. <laughs> But what is what is up, guys? It's been a while since I've been doing this series of my road back to Sonic Mania. Um, so basically, before I actually get into any details about Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and why and why I um really enjoy this game, just make sure to hit that like button and all that kind of stuff to uh, make this road to Sonic Mania even more special than it already is. Right now, let's talk about the history of Sonic the Hedgehog 2 with me. So. I've been a huge Sonic fan by the time I actually got this game. Um, I've always wanted to be like Sonic, I've always wanted to run like Sonic, been like all that kind of cool Sonic stuff. I've always wanted to copy his action and everything. This game... Hey, let me... Oh crap, I messed up. Um, I messed up, but um, anyways. This game can be either fun or either cruel in the most harshest way you can ever think about it. Because this game... Like, you can play through the story mode, and you can get 100%, which I am going to do. Like, all games I'm playing will get 100%, to show you the good ending, all that kind of stuff like that. If you guys are late to, or not late, or if you guys are joining this series right now, make sure to check out the other episode of my Road to Sonic Mania, and that kind of cool stuff like that. But Side Hedgehog 2, this game brings me lots of fun and suffering. Fun, because not only can you play as long as you can, you can also do multiplayer and all that kind of cool stuff. I always wanted to get my, um, friends or family to actually play this game with me and play as Tails, because I would never pass the control with Sonic. But I'm, I'm just talking really fast and I'm so excited, because I haven't played this game in so long. I think the last time I actually played this game was when I was about, like, six, when I was still trying to be able to talk and stuff, thanks to what I call my weird speech impediment. But anyways, just blasting through the stage, getting all the rings I can. This may be like a little bit easy right now, but believe me, later on there's gonna be tons of rage coming up to me because of these darn special stages. I swear, like if there's like no other harder stages in this game, I will call it the special stages because first two emotes will always be easy for me. Every time it's the third, fourth, fifth, and third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh emerald, I'm gonna have a problem. There's gonna probably gonna be a lot of rage. But anyways, I want to see something real quick if they actually um, did something about this. So real quick, we'll just go back here and this. Okay, yeah, because um, you can't miss any gold poster. They're just going to um, mark it um, as a checkpoint anyways, because you can't go backwards with the checkpoints. But basically, getting the emeralds, you have to go through the checkpoints, get at least 50 rings, and then hit the, um, post to get the rings. So you get the emerald. Um, so there's a secret. Okay. Basically, overall, I think Sonic 2 is a very fun game. You can play with multiplayer, all that kind of good stuff with it. And it's very challenging. Very challenging for our first game. And um, what was it? Sonic was the first game... The first game series to have um, 16 bits or something. I might be wrong, but I might be also right. You can quote me about that. Well, don't quote me about that because I don't know a single thing about the start about classic Sonic history. That it was just um. Because I know it was out of the first out of Mario to get 16 bit. I probably just like so many people right right there. But yeah. Second special stage. I've heard rumors that you can actually get all seven Chaos Emeralds in the first zone, like Act 1 and 2, which I'm not going to do because I don't know. All I know are a few goal posters, like the few mandatory ones you want to pass by by speeding through stages and stuff like that. It's almost impossible to miss. Just going to go with that classic condition right now. Is it really level But yeah, I'm also going to be quiet do some of these stuff because this game is like super loud and you guys can probably barely hear me by now. But, but this one to tell you guys, just, yeah, and let me know if you want to see the multiplayer as well because, because that could also be a thing or something. 
guys want to see the multiplayer. It's probably it's not gonna be in this um series, but uh not gonna be in the world, it's not even made a series, but probably like a little um Sonic 2 versus you guys would want to see that. So let me know in the comments down below for that kind of stuff like that. But but like I said before, the, the first and second um special stages shouldn't be too hard, it's just it's just you gotta just look ahead, look for where bombs are at, and watch out for tails when you just hold the majority of your rings and then it's blown to smithereens like that, like that. Screwing up your process and getting you ahead of you and screwing you over. And we barely hit it. <laughs> we barely got that arrow. Thank goodness. Because if Tails ever gets in front of you, because that will happen if you get hit and Tails doesn't, because when Tails get in front of you, you're basically almost, like, very close to being screwed, because Tails will be in front of you, taking all the glory that he wants, because he's the sidekick, and sidekicks will want the glory. Well, most sidekicks would. Because Tails ain't no little sidekick like Robin and stuff. He's going to try to take the glory on it and stuff like that, and I think... Nope, I don't know if I can do that. I heard, I also heard a rumor that you can also, like, jump at the end of the stage to actually, um, glitch up the game and, um, actually move during the, um, goalpost. But, um, Emerald Hill Zone Act 2. I'm going to do one world every episode because these stages can be very long and very tedious. And since I'm already getting to the third special stage, well, I'm almost close to the third special stage. I think it will be appropriate for me to actually, um... Try not to get hit. Um, just make it... Okay. Okay, don't get hit, don't get hit, don't get hit. Coconuts! Alright. Clearly. Basically, this whole game, like, if you want 100%, just make sure, just try to get no hits during a single run, so you, so you won't lose your 50 rings on watching your coconuts. And all that kind of good stuff like that. <laughs> I don't know why, but this game always gets me to, like, a hyper state, and, like, um, I'm, all, I'm always going, like, Sonic Boom, and all that kind of stuff like that, but third one. The third one is always the tedious one for me. I don't know why it's just so difficult that I can't even do anything about it. Seriously, here's the thing. There's gonna be bombs galore out there, and Tails is gonna screw you over big time. Because I was a little bit tedious about it. Well, not tedious, but I was a little bit skeptical of having Tails with me during this journey, but hey, he's like sidekick. This is his first appearance into the series. Why not? Let's give him some glory. Some glory. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, I'm looking on you. I'm sorry, I'm looking on Tails, guy. I, I love Tails, but still. Freaking. It's gonna screw you over in this game. And. Basically, I'll. I would probably just switch between episodes of when I'm gonna play as Sonic or Tails. And frame drop! Of course! Why wouldn't the game go frame dropping on me? But this is part we want to be careful because these loops of tails get hit once he could screw you over big time. Big time. Just make sure to watch out! Make sure he doesn't screw you over. So now that we reach 160 rings, this should be good. Because uh, we're actually close to that goal. And we just gotta make sure to jump. So try not to make Tails the one who collects your rings, because he's going to screw you over. Okay, this should- no. Come on. No, don't tell me I screwed it over. No! No! Dang it, Tails! This is what I'm talking about! Don't worry, I'm not fully screwed. Just like in Sonic 1, if you miss a special stage, you're skipping that special stage and going on to the next one. You gotta do the whole cycle over again, and I'm not a big fan of that. But that's what I'm talking about, like, like I don't really- what? Like, I don't really let Tails, like, 
play along with him, like join the um, thing with me, because he's like the AI for games are not really that good. Because why wouldn't they be? They're the classic. They should. And my AI is very smaller than it in the um, computer's AI. And okay, jump over this. Jump back over because I need more rings. I refuse. I refuse to let this be the end of my, um, streak or something, I don't know. But thankfully, the rings in every stage will refresh itself after you will complete the, um, what is it, the, um, after you go through the little special areas. So be thankful for that, because I am definitely, because I am definitely. I don't know why this turned into Thanksgiving all of a sudden, but still, I'm thankful. Don't judge me. But anyways, let's just go up there, because I never actually went up here before. This is also the reason why I'm doing one episode per zone, just because we spend a lot of time exploring areas. And always getting ahead, because I always want to get those rings. I want to see what's over here. I think up here it's a gold post, not a gold post, a checkpoint. I'm just going to go back down there real quick so I can actually get that checkpoint. Just fall down here, get the. The extra alive. I love that jingle. And let's go to the other special stage. I would eat. Oh, wait, never mind. We try this again. Never mind. I thought we skipped this one. Oh well, we get we get another crack at tail screwing us over, possibly. And jump. That's a jump like always like two to three seconds behind you, so you just gotta time your jumps and make sure it tells what the, um, rings you're probably gonna be missing when you jump early. The only thing you have to worry about is Tails screwing up and basically trying to get the green goal without Tails, without letting Tails touch the rings. I still recommend you play with, um, one character, but just because I am actually doing the road, and since Tails is a playable character, I'm letting him end it for now. I'm letting him join the game. Why not? <sighs> this is Super Smash Bros. all of a sudden. Tails joins the game. Sonic joins the game. Tails dies in the game. Sonic dies in the game. Oh my god, I gotta stop. I'm sorry, I'm stopping, I'm stopping. <laughs> I'm just so hyper because I get to play this game again. Even though it brings me so much pain and suffering, I still love this game. It what it's what um got me into classic Sonic on kind of stuff because I was like more of um, a modern slash Dreamcast Sonic player because it was around the time I was born and stuff. And since I love Sonic Adventure so much, okay, come on, don't. Okay, do not get hit. If I get hit, I'm screwed. Do that, and the emerald is mine. Oh yeah, I hope you guys are ready for Christmas too, because that's coming that's coming up soon and all that kind of good stuff. Be with your family and stuff like that. It's, it's nice. That is awesome. Awesome. I'm like really hyper all of a sudden. I'm waiting for something right now, so there might be a pause in the video when the um when the games when the, uh, when the um video cuts out, then you know I just want to go do some stuff. 
book and stuff. Crap. Okay, coconut, leave me alone. Oh snap, I didn't even know about this. Oh god! Okay, that was a little bit jerkish. <laughs> what if I land on top of those spikes, man? What would that would have done to me? That would have killed me. Tails will be up there! No, you would betray him! Death of the game, okay. back ring box. No! Leave me alone. Don't die this time. Spinach up here, because I think it's going to be another goal post. Oh yeah, for other people who don't know about the classic Sonic games, the difference between... Oh, okay. The, dif the difference between the first zone and the sec... The first game and the second game is that there's only two zones... There's only two acts in each zone. So... Yeah. Plan ahead. Well, you just get you just get more carrots and rolls in this in each zone as well. So yeah, instead of that three party, you get that two part plus some disability. Okay, and there's always going to be at least one. There's always going to be a checkpoint right before the boss, so there's going to be another chance for you to get that get a piece of the emerald. I said piece of the emerald. Some of the you must only have one piece. This I'm going to talk about Sonic Adventure right now. Risky. Remember, there's one checkpoint before the boss fight, and do not miss this. Do not miss this goalpost, because if you're still trying to get, if you're trying to get 100, that's going to screw you over. And yeah, going to get at least going to get um, four emeralds in this first episode. That's actually really good. Okay. So I don't remember what's coming up in this place. Place. I'm, I don't know what's going to be in this special stage, just hopefully I can actually get the requirements without Tails, so I won't screw my- wow, that really just screwed myself over. No, wait, wait, Tails, don't get hit anymore! No! What did I just say? Okay, three emeralds this episode, that's still good. <laughs> Oh, but nice to have at least half of the emeralds. Well, I guess I do have at least half, but like, more than 3.5. That's what I meant to say before. But, oh god, that's that's right in my ear. I have, like, very loud headphones. It's just, like, right in my ear. But we're here with the boss fight. And, yo. First I'm hearing this theme, I could not stop. I could not stop dancing to it, because I love this soundtrack for this boss fight. I don't know why, but here... And here in the remix of this boss fight too, it's also amazing. Like I, I don't remember who specifically made the boss fight theme, but um, yeah. So basically, Eggman, I think he has six or eight hits like in the last game. If um, if you let him, if he has one more hit left, you let him go off screen. He's gonna come back with the um little drill shooting at you when he's on his last hit. So make sure to look, look out for that as well. But I think. Let's go. Yeah, I don't think. I know. Um, 
that's going to be it for this episode of Sign the Hedgehog 2. If you guys did enjoy this game, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel as well. Because um, I will always love people. I will always love that support you guys give me. And um, yeah, guys, I'll see you next time. Peace out, my gamers.